I didn't see you there. <clears throat> Sharon, hype yourself up. Why are you so stiff? It's a rainy day in Germany. Okay. Hey, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. I'm super excited you clicked on this video because today I wanted to talk to all the lovely ladies and beautiful goddesses out there. This is going to be a girl talk video. Just I'm going to share some tips I have for feminine hygiene and also what I have learned in my 25 years of being a queen. What has helped me with menstrual pain and just tips that have made my life a little bit easier. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is the pill. We probably all know what the pill is. It's a medication for girls to not experience an unwanted pregnancy. Also, the pill can help if you suffer with menstrual pain a lot. If you have a lot of cramps and just you bleed a lot, the pill will make that less and less. I think what's really alarming is that a lot of doctors or gynecologists don't tell these young beautiful ladies what the pill actually contains of and also that it has a lot of side effects. Maybe some doctors do, I just have the feeling a lot don't and I think that's really sad because I think everyone should be really informed and aware before taking the pill. Of course, a lot of doctors want to sell their products. They're working really close with the pharma industry, but I think it's just really important to get informed in what you're actually taking and putting into your body. And this is not me rambling on and saying all doctors are bad and you should listen to them. That's not at all what I'm saying. It's just really important to question whatever information you get. I'm just gonna quickly touch on the side effects that are probably most common and my friends and myself have struggled with. So the first side effect would probably be that if you take the pill, it, it can really like, tri like mess with your mental health. Um, I have experienced a lot of mood swings and feeling sad often for no reason. Also, what is really common is that a lot of girls gain a lot of weight. I know this has actually happened for me. I took the pill for about two years when I was 17, 18, 19, like in that age range. And I actually gained about eight or nine kilograms, which has really messed with my confidence because I was in puberty, I was a really insecure teenager <laughs> and that has really messed with my mental health and I was just feeling really insecure. I'm not saying if you like way more that you should feel um, not confident about yourself but I was already struggling with insecurities at that time and that just was the cherry on top for getting my life out of balance. There are actually like stronger and lighter pills. I know I have had been taking the lighter pill and I was struggling with these side effects anyways. I actually stopped taking the pill with 19 I believe and it really took one year for my body to get like in balance again and like get like its normal flow back. I probably lost like the amount of weight I gained in that year but it was really tricky because the body had to remove all the hormones that has been pushed into the body so if you stop taking the pill just keep in mind that it takes up to a year for your body to balance everything out again and I also heard that a lot of female young women women when they stop the pill and they have actually been taking the pill for a really long time like six seven eight nine ten years they struggle to get pregnant they just people think okay i'm just gonna get off the pill and because i don't need that protection anymore because i have a partner i actually want to get pregnant with and then it doesn't work for a really long time because your body takes this time to balance everything out again I wish I knew <laughs> I knew back then because then I probably would never have taken it because my goal was actually to 
um, help with my cramps. I actually only got the pill because I wanted it to help with my pain during my period. Um, and there is like a lot of natural ways to help with that. I will touch on that later. Obviously, that is up to you what you want to do. It's your body. You can do with it whatever you want. This is just my point of view. So I think men and women, we're living in 2020, are both responsible for their safety, for not getting into an unwanted, into, for not causing an unwanted pregnancy or getting STDs. And at the end of the day, the woman is like pumping all these hormones into her body. And it's not just the woman's responsibility. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's also really common that a lot of women feel alone or feel responsible to um, yeah just being safe because a lot of men, I'm not saying all men not shading, <laughs> I'm not throwing shade just saying a lot of men often don't ask for a condom or don't ask if the woman is actually taking the pill um, so yeah, a lot of women just feel alone with that topic, which is really sad because at the end of the day it's two partners coming together so two partners should find a solution for the situation. Same with the intra uterine system. In German we say spiral, spirale. Um, a lot of doctors or a lot of people tell girls that there is actually no hormones inside or that the hormones will only release um, in the uterus which if you know a little bit about anatomy and the blood flow that is like actually not 100% possible will remind you when your period starts and end you can put it in as you like I don't have my phone here otherwise I would have shown you but there's a lot of apps you can download I think it's just good to have an overview of your period cycle and also you will kind of get a feeling when your fertility is the highest and then maybe on these days you can uh, use a <laughs> use a partner use a condom on these days with your partner So the next thing I wanted to talk about is Actually to be really gentle with your body in general. We are women Even if you feel like you have more masculine energy at the end of the day, you're a woman <laughs> And it's really important to be okay with your femininity and with your feminine parts Let's call her a flower so with your flower <laughs> and I think it's really important to be gentle to your flower while cleaning while making love you are getting intimate with someone and they're not respecting you in any way or <sighs> being too rough on you and I mean there's people who like it but there's people who don't so if you don't like it always speak up for yourself always respect yourself and always be true and authentic to yourself and don't feel pressured to do something or let yourself be treated in a way you actually don't want to be treated. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is actually using a soap that is really good for your flower <laughs> so that there's no chemicals inside. I've been using this soap for a while because it's really important to care your, for your natural flora down there so nothing will get imbalanced <laughs> and I've actually been liking that soap a lot a lot of my friends use it too and this is actually the sensitive one the pink one I just bought it in a normal German drugstore so you can just get it wherever this soap is perfume and alcohol free and I just prefer that also men can use that too it doesn't really matter the next topic I wanted to talk about is girls, if you haven't tried a menstruation cup before, try one. The menstruation cup is actually the most natural way or the most natural tool you can use 
while you have your period. The cup is actually made out of medical silicone, so it will be really good and natural to your flora. The cup has actually so many benefits. It's the best thing for our environment because it is a one-time purchase. So you don't actually have to spend a lot of money every month for pads and tampons and all that stuff. So it's a one-time purchase. They're about 15 to 20 bucks. You can use them up to 10 years, 15 years, and you really get the use out of them. I mean, all these tampons and pads come in a lot of plastic packages, so this is actually amazing for our environment. Also, our pads and tampons are bleached, so I prefer to not put anything that was dipped into chemicals and chemically bleached into my flora, into my blooming flower, whatever, it's just, no, no. It's also a common fact that tampons that you insert inside um, and you leave them in for too long, you actually can get a, like intoxicated, get a shock from it and no. For me, using a cup had life-changing benefits. They're super comfortable. I don't even feel them when I put them in. Um, I can leave them in for up to 10 hours, so if I have to go to work or have meetings or whatever you're doing throughout your day you can just you don't need to worry that you have to change them or empty them you can just leave them up to eight to ten hours so it's super amazing you can go swimming with them you can go running you can go to the gym doesn't matter as long as you um, manage to put them in the right way I actually like to clean my cup with a cup cleaner. I use hot water and just the soap. It's gonna be clean, fresh. Just make sure that your cup and your hands are clean before you put your cup in or pull it out. So on the cup packaging there's mostly um, a suggestion which size you should choose. There is S, M and L. I bleed quite strongly, that's why I chose M. And I think L is for women that have given birth before. If you haven't really gotten used to sleeping with the cup, maybe the first few times I would suggest to put a towel in your bed, not because everything's gonna flush out, just to make sure that nothing gets dirty and you just kind of get used to sleeping with it. And um, it really depends on how you like put it in and if it sits the right way. The first few times putting it in and pulling it out will be a little bit tricky. You have to get to use you have to get used to it and just find a way that is the most comfortable for you and that will take a few times. So I'm just going to show to you guys how the cup looks like and I'm going to try to demonstrate to you guys how I like to put it in and pull it out. So I actually bought a new one, so I'm not the crazy girl that pulled out her cup in the video, <laughs> so yeah. Super small, cute, easy. I actually like to put coconut oil around it just to make it go in smoother um, because, you know, it's quite dry. The one I have been using the past few years actually has a little ring on the bottom. And I'm excited to try this one, but I think the one with the ring is like easier to handle because I just only need to like get in and pull it out. So yeah, I put a little bit of coconut oil around it and then I actually like to... Whoa. <laughs> Great demonstration skills, you guys. Then I actually like to fold it in half just like that and then I like to insert it like this it will get easier with time get on the ground if you're like not really comfortable the first few times like the frog position maybe the first few times so I like to fold it and then I just kind of put it in like that and then I just
put it up and then let it go let it unfold <laughs> blossom <laughs> when I pull it out as I said I like to use the ring this one has no ring but you can just pull it out like this and there's different cups there's one that only has like a long bottom and you can actually cut them off or something like that but this one is just really short and then you can just pull it down and then I like to go in with my other hand and actually push it together a little bit so it's smaller and it doesn't hurt when I pull it out if that makes sense I hope you understood <laughs> so yeah I just like to like push it together and then just pull it out and then empty it clean it put it back in the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is actually what can help with menstrual cramps and a lot of pain I have been suffering from a lot a lot of pain I'm always tired when I'm on my period I always feel like really like emotional and I just want to crawl up into my bed and eat, eat ice cream the typical period person <laughs> right here there's like a lot of natural ways to actually help with that but I have discovered to use magnesium I take magnesium now every single day I had zero pain zero I would never leave the house if I had to work on the days where I um, had a lot of pain I had to take three to four to five painkillers and that's really bad for your body and I actually take schistle salze schistle salt number seven and I take 15 to 20 of the little caps I put it into a water like hot water then I drink it and every uh, little bit I put into my water <laughs> I put into my mouth I just kind of leave it in for my in my mouth for a few seconds so the body can really take that in and then I swallow it they also have drops I believe because there actually is lactose in here so yeah it's not vegan Sharon but I didn't care because I had so much pain um, but they actually come in like drops as well and I think I really want to try that next has been helping like crazy so if you struggle with a lot of pain while your period maybe try this I hope it will help for you too during I like to drink iron juice so maybe like really like red juices that contain a lot of iron or you go to your supermarket drugstore or wherever and get like iron shots that helps because obviously when you bleed you lose a lot of iron so it can really help your body to gain back its strength and have these iron sources it's really important for us queens to really take our time when we're on our period and we feel like we don't have that much power and we just feel tired and you just are an emotional blob and you want to stay in your bed then do that. If you don't feel like going to the gym, don't go. The last thing I wanted to talk about is shaving. <laughs> so I like to shave with a natural shaving cream. You can also use coconut oil. You only shave in one direction. I know people that shave like this <laughs> and that will create these little bumps you can get from shaving. So always remember to shave in one direction. After shaving, I like to use post-shaving serums, but you can also like use tea tree oil, coconut oil, and ha uh, witch hazel. And that combination, like when you put this combination on after shaving, wherever, it will be smooth and soft as a little baby. Of course. Don't feel pressured by society to shave. If you don't want to shave and you like it natural, go for it. I personally like my flower shaved. <laughs> so yeah, do you and don't feel pressured by society. So my beautiful goddesses, beautiful girls out there in this world, beautiful queens, okay, I'll stop. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would be super excited if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope it didn't disturb you that it's like raining loads outside. See you all next time.